as you uh, well know, the originally announced timeline of uh, town hall sessions and council vote required an adjustment. This due to an unexpected last minute issue that arose during our negotiation with one of the candidate developers. Some of you were not happy about this. Uh, well, neither were we. But the most important consideration to this decision uh, is to proceed only when our planning, our finance, and our legal professionals are fully comfortable with doing so. And that was only, from their perspective, when they were fully satisfied that we had uh, gathered sufficient information from our interlocutors upon which to base such an important and indeed momentous decision regarding the future of our downtown. From that vantage point, it was, it was the responsible thing to do. Um, happily, our professionals now tell us that uh, we've reached the point of requisite satisfaction. So I can confirm that the uh, first town hall presentation and Q&A will take place one week from tonight, April 18th, at the Chatham Middle School, commencing at 7.30 p.m. The second town hall will in turn take place exactly one week afterwards, on April 25th, at the Chatham Middle School as well, and also at 7.30. The council will then make its selection in public session at a special council meeting to be held, most likely here at council chambers on May 2nd at 7.30 p.m. And that would be the week after uh, April 25th. Importantly, during these two town halls, there will be no specified limit on the number of attendees. The session will be broadcast via Zoom, Facebook, and the borough's public access TV channels. The likely presenters will be Kendra Lee, uh, Levy, uh, our borough planner, Bob Powell, the borough's um, redevelopment financial advisor, Jonathan Drill, the borough's affordable housing and land use special counsel, and John Haig, the borough's uh, uh, regular redevelopment counsel. During the <coughs> two week period from next Monday until the uh, final vote, residents will have the opportunity to examine the different proposals in depth and contact uh, council members for the purpose of discussing these with them and or lobbying. Once the council has selected uh, which of the competing options with which to proceed, additional town halls are anticipated and will likely be scheduled as needed and if needed to address such further matters as architectural and or landscaping design, site layout, etc. Finally, the governing body and Borough Hall continue to be under strict orders from its attorneys not to discuss any details pertaining to any of the five concept options prior to their rollout by our professional professionals at next Monday's meeting. Uh, the reason for this continues to be the ongoing confidential negotiations with multiple parties regarding at least some of the options. Final note, um, this has been a difficult process for all of us. Uh, for those of us up here, for those of you in the audience. For some, it has proven to be a particularly vexing and contentious matter. I should tell you that it has taken a great deal of effort to be able to place multiple options as we've uh, managed to do on the table. This is, and I said this last time, I'll repeat it, a highly unusual way of, of, of proceeding in the case of affordable housing uh, uh, decisions here in New Jersey. But we've managed to make it possible to move forward in this fashion. We are almost there. We'll get to see the options next Monday night. The conversation will begin, the deliberation will start, and, um, and the decision will be made on May 2nd. I look forward to seeing all of you.